This is a situation. Order, 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 order. I will remind. The jury should have a question here because they're stupid. Yeah. It was not Whoa. shot in the air. It was shot in the lake, you idiot. I had to retrieve my, uh, my gavel. Oh, right. Oh, yes. We need that to make it a fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a, uh, there's a new law office in town. Well, same partner. law office, yeah. new partner. They had to oh. change the sign out front, all the stationery, all the business cards had to be changed. We're inclusive. Yeah. The law offices of Bodega, Sebastian, and Sammy. Yes. Oh, congratulations. Sammy, congratulations. Thank on the you. Welcome. You. Did you go out and buy yourself like a new fancy car, like a German car? Or, I did. Or yeah. I thought I deserved it, you know? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Go out and buy a mm. new wardrobe. Yeah, totally. For, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those Gotta court dates. A new yeah. briefcase. Yeah. What you must be loving this is a Better Call Saul fan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All about, especially yeah, yeah. in the early seasons. Mm-hmm. Law offices, partnerships. That's right. You know, they say the only ship that doesn't sail is a partnership. So hey, we'll yo. see how this one goes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but so we had these different cases. Seabass has some cases picked directly from the news, almost like uh, Law & Order does, right? These are our defendants, uh-huh. actually. They've uh, hired us. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And so uh, we'll hear what they did or what's going on there. Allegedly. And then uh, we're going to use the three partners, Bodega, Menace, Seabass, and Sammy, to try to defend their way out. And then we, the listeners, along with uh, Greg, Ravi, and myself, will all be the, uh, mm-hmm. the jury, jury slash judge Fantastic. on these different cases. And the reason we included Sammy is because she just has this knack for, there will be somebody, and like, it's, it's so rare that we are all in agreement right. on a particular thing. And then mm-hmm. out of nowhere, <laughs> well. Well, actually, well, yeah. And you're like, what? It's not really that bad. Yeah. So we'll see how <laughs> we'll see how you do here in your first case, Seabass. What do we got? A kindly old lady, Cheryl Lloyd Cano, 59 years mm-hmm. old. She was falsely put in jail because she shot at an alligator. Oh, unbelievable. Now, here's the thing. She lives in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. There are a lot of gators around there. Down by the local pond. And what did she see? But a swan and its babies, little swan and its dugans. Mm-hmm. And what else did she see? An alligator. So she got her gun out, fired a warning shot only at the alligator. Alligator went away. Okay, great. Cool. Alligator yep. comes back. Uh oh. Closer to Cheryl's house. She fires another warning shot, and then some turd of a neighbor called the cops on her. <laughs> Loser. And she was arrested for reckless just discharge of a firearm. No, so she never not guilty. Shot, but she, so she never shot the gator. She in never fact, shot the gator. In the fact, shot. in fact, in the neighborhood though. In fact, the police saw a gator that was totally har- unharmed later on. Hmm. But still, but put arrested, in cuffs. arrested, reckless hmm. discharge. Partners, I'm sure we have yeah. many defenses for this. And okay. well, I mean, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, <laughs> <laughs> if you have a pistol, and a gator is going to kill another animal. What are you going to do with that pistol? Let me ask you. What are you going to do with it? You're just asking me? Yeah. It's uh, not, you don't usually uh, talk with the uh, jury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's a little thing. What are you going to do with it? Make your argument. You're supposed to have like a hypothetical question. Yeah. that you're, Hypothetically, yeah. uh, you're going to use that pistol. This is what you're going to do. And she was brought in for uh, endangering wildlife. Was that alligator injured at all? No, it was not. Case closed. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> hmm. Close. Yeah, that Thank was, you. That wasn't super uh, awesome, but okay. <laughs> Argument, <laughs> Sammy. Yes. Well, okay. So also in this, it says um, discharging a firearm or attempting to kill wildlife in certain sanctuaries. Are swans not also sanctioned animals in the area? So she was actually saving multiple sanctioned wildlife. Yes. Thank you. Thank Sanction. you. She should be considered a hero. Also, she was only trying to scare the alligator. She never actually hit it, and she was successful. She didn't even accidentally shoot the alligator. So the alligator had no injuries, and the only thing this proves is that she can be trusted with a gun because she has great aim and did exactly what she meant to do. Also, going on her property, uh, stand your ground laws. Yeah, in, gator. Uh, Fl- <laughs> Florida ain't that a thing? Uh, Thank South you. South Carolina, but yes. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know what sanctioned wildlife is. Maybe you meant protected wildlife. Life? It says sanctioned well, in the article. If that gator went on her property, that gator knew what was coming to him. All right, see bass an argument. Uh we all have been talking about <laughs> man versus bear. What would you rather run into? Right, right. Yeah. Would you right. would you rather run into an alligator? No. You want to run into none of these things when out in the wild, and that's all this woman was doing. All right. And again, 
Wait, wait, uh, what happened? Warning shots used to be cool. They used to be in all like the sure. westerns. You sure. shoot, yeah. You shoot a warning shot. Society. Sure. Yeah. Right, it's called me, America. Thank let you. Let me discuss with the uh, with the jury here. What, sure. what, are, what are your thoughts this here? This has come up a lot of times in right. celebratory situations where people shoot right. a gun, and everybody in this room, including these attorneys, say, "Oh, yes, because bullets are magical and they never land." If you with if it's at a True. celebration or warning, you fire a warning shot. That bullet in a neighborhood, it just goes yeah. into space. Now, hold on, this was fired at a lake, not in the air. Yeah, right. into the water. We don't know where the bullet ended uh, up. I also uh, in the water. <laughs> And also, and this okay. is not a celebratory. I, I know this not, is a situation. Order, 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 order. The I will jury remind... should have a question here because they're stupid. Yeah, it was not Whoa. shot in the air; it was shot in the lake, you idiot. You didn't yeah. say that in your uh, stupid well, then you argument. Ask a question, you keep the name assume. calling, sir. We're not I'll find talking you to you. We're deliberating. I will find you. I will find you in contempt, and I will order you to buy breakfast for everybody. In real court, if the jury has a question like this, they will say, "Hey, we are we are discussing. We're deliberating. Right." Don't if belittle we, when you left the detail out. If we have a question, we'll let you know. It shot at the gate. I feel like this, I know, and we bring this up a lot, Greg. I feel like this is just gators being out here gatoring. This is where the gator lives. Saws like some potential swans, deliciousness, some ducklings. Right. I'm swans. sorry that it's a swan. If a gator's going on your property and you have a pistole, what are you doing? You're shooting it. I know that the gators live there. This isn't a surprise oh, so gator. You're let it on your property. A gator going towards a swan, you're supposed to interfere with nature. Yes. That's what I'm saying. It's just yeah. gators. Oh, it's just trying to scare it away. Speak. She was not killing and the gator. I, I find my, my, uh, my, I, I, I find it uh, that she's just shooting randomly into a neighborhood. That's not what random is, you no. idiot. Yeah. Into it's a neighborhood. Excuse you. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, because the neighborhood lives in the bottom of the lake. All right. Uh, yeah, how do you, got, how do you okay. find Greg? I, I find her yeah. guilty. We have a prejudicial judge. Guilty. Guilty. Judge, stupid Guilty. jury. Guilty. Uh, yes, and I as well. Filing an appeal and instantly. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know the people that live in my neighborhood have gills. Thank you. Guilty. 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 Maybe it's really easy to find somebody. You might want to leave some of these Guilty. details in the story. Then you ask questions, All right. dummy. All right. We Guilty. don't talk to you. We yes, deliberate. Yes, you do. That's how Moving on work. to the next case. All right. Oh, Guilty. Oh, my God. This <laughs> This jury sucks. They sure do. Let's go to Arlington, Virginia, where nine people arrested for underage drinking. Oh, boy. Now, were they doing allegedly. this? Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> were they no, doing this? They were arrested, correct? Yeah, but, but uh, for allegedly for drinking is what we're oh, saying. Okay. They were accused of this. Now, were they doing this out in a public park or, you know, were they run at a liquor store begging people for drinks? No, 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 no. These were people who were having a house party. And the cops were called on this house party. Not because it was making too much noise, not because there were drunk teens passed out in the lawn. No, because some one of the kids' dads saw on the social media that there was a house party going on. And I like to prosecute him as a hater as well. <laughs> <laughs> and he called the cops because he knew where this new this house was. He's a dork. Police showed up, 30 to 40 kids. Of course, they scram from the house, as they do when cops show up. We've all been there. However, nine young adults and uh, some juveniles were still inside when the cops got inside. And they were all arrested, uh, although none of them were seen actually drinking, because who would hold on to their beer when the cops are there? Right, right. But we, do have, we do have nine freedom fighters looking to get <laughs> helped <laughs> by the law offices. Uh, partners, please. Okay. Well, we're in a private residence. We don't know for sure if they were drinking alcohol. Alcohol was present, Correct. but there was other people that were of age, drinking age, at the party, so they could be consuming the alcohol. Also, yep. I looked into it. If they happen to have a beer in hand, it was a non-alcohol, non-alcoholic beer, and I did look up the state law. A minor can drink a non-alcoholic beer in their state. So, I'm saying not guilty. They didn't even consume alcohol. Where's the breathalyzer? Thank you. Thank you, Sammy. Well, like we said, it well. was it was a dad who saw it on social media. There was no noise complaint from neighbors. They were not being rowdy. This was not a complaint situation. And the cops showed up. And for all we know, they were having a dinner party and were being very classy. Like they said, only the people who there who were of age were probably just sipping wine. Yeah, we don't know. They were all mm -hmm. casually hanging out. And then the police searched the house. Stormtroopers, welcome. Welcome to Nazi Germany. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> no proof. Dinner party, Greg. And your honor, I would like to uh, cite case law here. Case of American v. Pi. <laughs> case of Super v. Bad. Yep. Case of Project VX and Dazed v. Confused. Yes, thank you. House parties rule. I would like the father who reported this to be prosecuted for being a square, yeah. being a loser, being a narc, and their kid to be shunned from 
But I will remind, All friends, I'll remind the jury that uh, the case only involves the teenagers who were, right. quote, busted. So uh, let me, uh, we can, we can drag let me confer in. with the jury here. Mm-hmm. Uh, Greg, Ravy, thoughts? Mm-hmm. I mean, you know how I feel about this type yeah. of situation. Thank you, Greg. Big deal. Right. And mm-hmm. if the cops really did go into the house, I don't think they are allowed to do that just because of underage drinking. Civil rights violation. I'm, yep. I'm, I don't know the, the legality on that, but Called it seems ACLU. not <laughs> right. To, mm-hmm. to walk in. Right. So, um, yeah, that's my Yeah, thought. I'm filing this also under what's the big deal. Yeah. All right, so how do you find not guilty? Not guilty. Not, not guilty. guilty. All right, well, uh, uh, we, uh, we, the judge and jury, find the nine defendants to be not guilty. Rip! Thank you. How about let's, the, let's, how let's about the door dad? Yeah. yeah, can we get well, a bench warrant for the day? Yeah, <laughs> that's something you're gonna have biatch. to file. A, you're gonna have to file another. Uh, no, you can issue a bench warrant. Yeah, yeah. No, you're gonna have to file another complaint <laughs> on that. Yeah. You can see I'm the clerk out right front. Now. You can file and under biatch. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Here's the paperwork. Yeah, that's gonna have to be a different situation. All right, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna adjourn. All right, and then we will uh, lunch? we will lunch reconvene. Break. Oh yeah, oh, and, a, and a potty break. Okay. Mm. And then we will reconvene hour here after the break. Three hours later. Sometimes these breaks do feel like an hour. <laughs> but uh, after the break, we will convene the law offices of Bodega, Sebastian, and Sammy, next door on The Woody Show. Hang on. The Woody Show. Our jurors, Greg and Ravy. Yes. Your attorneys at law, Bodega, Sebastian, and Sammy. And we have another case that's about to go before the court. And uh, Seabass, what are the details here, please? A man in Tampa. Tamp. <laughs> His favorite. I love Tampa. Arrested for public urination. Police How saw shocking. police saw him get into an Uber, but then quickly get back out of it and run not to the middle of the street, not to a daycare, but to a parking garage late at <laughs> night. Mm-hmm. Police followed the man into the parking garage. Oh, okay. followed him. Followed him. Had to follow him where they say they observed him urinating on a wall with his belt visibly unbuckled as they approached him. He's arrested at the time. Now, in full disclosure, we're not going to be liars here at the law offices. He did say to the police, do you know who I am? (laughs) Because he is Nicholas Stocco, the uh, Tampa Fire Inspector and Union President. (laughs) However, he was still arrested. That's a bad look. He was actually visiting uh, downtown St. Pete, where he was, but that's close by, of course. Now, partners, I know we need to get this man off. Yes. How are we going to do that? We'll do it. Now, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, may you cast the first stone if you have not urinated in public. When you have done that, should have you have you should have been arrested that day? (laughs) Did you harm anybody that day? No, you did not. Yeah, this was not in a daycare. This was middle of the night, parking garage out of the way. When you go out in public, how many bathroom options are there? Ladies especially. Not many. Not many at all. So when you're in a pinch, and this man had a condition where he did have to urinate or his bladder would have exploded. It's dangerous. <laughs> Very dangerous for him. He was basically saving his own life. Which he's used to doing because he is a life-saving firefighter. Yeah. He saved thousands of lives in the area. Probably. And this is what we do to him. For shame. Case closed. Thank you. Wow. Not guilty. Yeah, this was clearly an emergency situation. He didn't want to go in the Uber. He, The Uber driver v- v- would, would not have been happy about that. He got out and ran to a parking garage. He didn't even get out and pee on the side of the car, pee right there on the side <laughs> of the road. He was trying to get out of public view to the closest Privately, spot that he could, he which stalked. is what he did. He was stalked. Right, exactly. The police, the police followed him. He was hiding. He wasn't out in public view for them to see. So I would say, obviously, innocent because it was an emergency. He had nowhere else to go. There were no bathrooms. He had no other options. May I ask you, don't the police have better things to do than to follow a gentleman into a private area? One would hope so, Menace. Yeah. In fact, right. let, I mean, me, um, hmm. let me converse with the jury on this one. Also, he had smoky penis, which is, causes you, because uh, he's a firefighter. Yeah. Smoky penis. Yeah, penis. Look into it. Causes you, it causes you to put more. Look into it. Smoky penis. Order. Order. Smoky penis. Please disregard the right, comment of right, smoky right, penis. Right. That's not a comment. That's a medical yeah, condition. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, any thoughts from the jury? There is something called RAS, reasonable articulable suspicion. I don't believe that a man exiting a vehicle and walking into a garage is 
cause for suspicion. So I don't think the cops even had the right to follow him in there. Mm. Well, well, he had the right to follow him in there. Walking might have been into a garage is not suspicious. Sounds like overzealous and, Nazis yep. to me. And yep. being suspicious mm. is not a crime. Thank okay. you. So Communism. they shouldn't have followed him in there. I have, I have a question. Is the uh, parking garage owned by the city? Is this a, a public structure or is this a privately owned garage? Let's see. It's 225 First Avenue, St. Pete. I'm going to look that up for you, Judge. All right. Um, so, yeah. I'm, I'm, I've been in a parking Rables. garage more than once where a guy's like peeing on, in the corner, peeing on the wall. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Stairwell. I mean, and my it... first thought was, where are the cops? Uh, <laughs> mm. A famous Seinfeld episode where they can't find their car mm. in the parking garage. Yeah. Jerry pees in the corner. Yeah. And is picked up for doing so. This appears to be a private uh, facility, by private the way. Private facility, yeah. okay. Yeah. And so I'm glad the cops were there to pick him up because he's a disgusting human. If he's just getting in an Uber, mm. where are you coming from that you couldn't pee there? Possibly a fire. Like all of a yeah. sudden, yeah, possibly a fire. Yeah. I'm the holding bathroom. him to a higher standard in my book because he is a public official. And knows better. Official? Yeah, he's a fire, what do you say, inspector? fire chief? Or fire, fire, fire inspector. inspector. Okay. The gentlemen of the jury have not urinated in public. He has a he has an official uh, responsibility. Is he not still human? Yeah, he is human. <laughs> the, and I'm saying, as a human, there were better decisions to if be made. If you prick him, doth he not bleed? Yes, I'm sure yeah. he bleeds. If you fill uh, him with bo- beer, does he not pee? Also, mm-hmm. not a fan of the uh, the fact uh, that he peed on somebody else's private property. Oh, I, which I would ask Greg oh. in this situation. Oh, Greg, yeah. I mean, if somebody peed on your property, like. No, I'd be. I look. The, yeah, it was your this, front door. Oh wait, yeah. the situation yeah. it's is called not evaporation. Look into it. Science. Ideal, by any means, I would hate it if somebody peed on my property. And may I point, Greg? I've actually been to this area. It's right across from a Hoots restaurant, which is mm. the new Hooters uh, yeah, little thank restaurant. You. Yeah. Also, Tampa. Tampa. Come on. Yeah, on a kind of for Tampa. This you're is walking great. around the area. Right, uh, Greg, what, what <laughs> are you ruling on this one? I'm just thinking about this from a legal standpoint. I don't think they had RAS. I'm saying not guilty. Thank not you. guilty. Uh, Ravy. Hella guilty. Hella guilty. Weak. Which leaves me to be the tiebreaker yeah. in this situation. The fact that it's uh, private property and the fact that he is a public servant, I am finding him guilty. 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 So guilty. Public property has been fine. Guilty. I always... Well, argue that Woody would love living in China. I yeah. can make an argument. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can because you don't know what you're talking about, but that's fine. Mm, well, I'm going to find right. you in contempt, the and you Uber are now officially buying breakfast property. for everybody. You. Yeah, And you can shut your mouth, too. That's, uh, <laughs> court is adjourned. <laughs> <laughs>